Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to play Xbox games on your Mac OS and use this with the MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, iMac, MacBook or any device that runs Mac OS. For this you will need a couple different things. You will need a controller. I definitely recommend Xbox controller. It works the best. The second thing you will need is the Xbox Game Pass subscription. In, my, in one of my previous videos I showed you guys how to get four months for $16, which is an amazing deal because you get over 100 different games. And the third is a very good internet connection. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our controller. Uh, so we're going to go settings and then we're going to open up Bluetooth. Now I'm going to connect it by Bluetooth and on, on our Xbox controller, we're going to press the pairing button and we're going to hold it a little bit. Once the logo starts flashing, should uh, we should be able to find it here here we go now we're just gonna press connect now it says connect and now we can do let me see what kind of options we have so we have we have those three big buttons which will tell us what to do i'm not gonna change any of those i'm just gonna close this down and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, on our browser and we're just gonna type xbox.com once we're on this side, make sure you sign in with the account that has the subscription, Xbox Game Pass subscription. If you don't have it, please watch one of my previous videos. I don't want to make this video too long since I already did a similar video how to play Xbox uh, games on the Chromebook. So, you know, if you need help with that, please watch that previous video. But for this one, all we're going to do is we're going to do Game Pass. And we're going to click on Xbox Game. And now we're going to do... Uh, where it says Xbox Cloud game, Gaming Beta with Xbox Game Pass. We're going to do Ways to Play. Now that we're here, we're just going to do Play Now. Now this website is going to open. I'm using Chrome Browser. I haven't tried Safari, but I just wanted to go with the sure thing, which would be the Chrome Browser. I know it works. Let's see which game I want to try. Maybe I'll try, let's see, Forza 4. Now we're just going to do Play. Sorry about that. Let's so play. Let me do a full screen. So all right, here we go. We got the Forza 4 loading. So far, very smooth. I'm playing with the controller. I'm also using 1080p monitor and a Mac mini for this. My internet speed is 50 megabytes per second. So let's start this game and see how it plays. It says no HDR uh, display detected, which is good. That's something I don't have. And let's leave it at 50. Accept. Sausage. Uh, let's do Maverick. Here's what I see. I see a festival that never ends. Where you can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream. Horizon I see. Let me show you. Welcome to autumn. A new beginning for the festival. 
travel that never ends. Don't go anywhere. Horizon is here to stay. Oh my god, what is up with that SUV? Oh wow 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 wow. Alright, let's remind that. I think here's fine. I was kinda of worried about hitting this car, so Graphics look pretty good. I'm not sure if this is 1080 or 720. I believe it's 720p resolution, but it still looks pretty good. So far, definitely very playable. I'm not experiencing any lag. There's a hiccup every once in a while, but it doesn't take away from the actual gameplay.
Man, this game just plays so smooth right now. I can't believe I'm not using it on the actual Xbox. It just plays exactly like the actual Xbox. I feel no lag. It's just it's just amazing right now. So I just finished gaming, I showed you that gameplay, and I didn't want to talk dur during the gameplay because it was for some reason I couldn't record the sound and my microphone at the same time, so I had to do it in two different takes, but that was the actual gameplay I did on my Mac Mini. Uh, my internet speed is 15 megabytes per second, I haven't experienced any lag during the actual gameplay, which was quite nice, I was actually kind of surprised, I honestly I thought it was going to lag from time to time, but I experienced zero of that, and um, it was actual Xbox experience, of course the graphics weren't the same, so I would definitely recommend this if you have MacBook, iMac, Mac Mini, and you want to get into the gaming, and you know, I would say Xbox Game Pass subscription isn't that money, even if you pay full price, which is 15 bucks a month, you will get so many different games, and just to give you a brief uh, description of all the games, and this is just some of them. Let, let me just do all games. I'm just going to do a very slow scroll because there's a lot of them. There's probably over 100, so we're just going to go real slow. So as I mentioned, you can get all this for months for $16. I believe that trick still works. I'm going to... Wow, that, that's, this is just a lot of games. I read somewhere that the Resident Evil Village will be soon on the on the Game Pass. That that would be quite amazing. I'll be waiting to play that game. So hopefully they do release it on the Game Pass. But this is just a lot of games. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It will really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I usually reply as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching.